guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a very special guest, my brother. Hi everybody. What's your name? Taylor. Okay, so today Taylor is going to pick my TBR. So I brought six books here and he's going to pick two out of the six. Yes. What is a TBR? A TBR is to be read. Oh, so I get to pick the books you get to read. Yes. Oh boy. So I, he's going to pick two out of the six So I'm going to read this following week or two weeks. Um, so we'll first start off by running through the books. Okay, so first we have The Light We Lost. This is about Lucy and Gabe and about their love story. The back is kind of vague, but basically he, they meet their, their senior year of college and he, Gabe goes off to the Middle East and she goes off to New York City. And basically, it's like a thirteen. They're like the thirteen years of their like love story, basically. Um, and it's supposedly very heartbreaking. It's a quote unquote tearjerker. Um, U.S. Weekly said it was an emotional roller coaster. So oh that's boy. the first one. Sounds distressing. Yes. So the second one is *The Sun and Her Flowers* by Ruby Core. I've read many Ruby Core books. Basically, it's just a poetry book, but it's very good poetry. I like poems. Mm -hmm. I read them in English class. Yep. Next is The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez. She's been very popular recently. This is about Kristen and she is planning her best friend's wedding and she just found out that she's going to have to do a surgery that's going to make her not be able to have kids. And she goes, so, so she's planning her best friend's wedding and she meets the best man who is like everything she's looked for and they're slowly falling for each other but the best man like wants to have a really big family of kids and so she doesn't know what to tell him and so she knows she needs to tell him and she needs to break it off with him because she's not the woman that he wants but Can't they, they just adopt? That's not the point but they um but yeah and so it's like very it's supposedly very good but very heartbreaking as well Okay, next is Meet Me at the Lake, which I'm so excited for. This is on my summer TBR, and I'm going to read it sometime this summer. This is about Fern and Will, and they have, like, a really great day. They meet in their early 20s, and they have, like, the best day ever. It's, like, love at first sight. They, yeah, it's amazing. Slay. So they agree to meet the exact same day a year later, and Fern shows up, but um, Will doesn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so then nine years later, um, Fern is working at this hotel, and I think it's a hotel. It's a, yeah, she's running her mother's lakeside re resort, and her ex-boyfriend is the manager, and she's just, like, not happy. She's not in a great place in life. And not slay. Not slay. And who comes? Will comes. And Will is clearly hiding something, and so she wants to figure it out. And just like Will helped her all those years ago, she thinks, well, maybe this is my time to help him. Oh, boy. And so I'm pretty sure it's alternating timelines. Yes, it's alternating timelines from 10 years ago to now. Oh, very confusing. <laughs> it's not confusing. It's good. I see. Next is Crave. This is a YA fiction. It looks violent. It's kind of like Twilight. It's at this boarding school where there are monsters and there's this vampire. And what's her name? I don't know what her name is, but the narrator is this girl who comes to the school who's like a mortal. Uh huh. Yeah, and she meets this vampire, and uh -oh. it's kind of their time she at. Fell in with the wrong crowd. At the boarding school, um, so it's kind of like Twilight, but it sounds really good. I see. Very boarding school, you know, like academia aesthetic. Uh -huh. I'm hoping. Okay, lastly, this one's kind of random, but Ooh, endurance. Good um, this is a nonfiction book about Ernest Shackleton's expedition in Antarctica. Um, I studied this in school this year, and so it sounded interesting. I usually don't read nonfiction, but it's on my TBR. So now you know all of the books that you're choosing from. Quite a variety. There are a lot of romances. Um, so now you can pick two and tell me why. Oh boy! All right, yeah, let's, let's lay them out. Let's lay them out one by one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I gotta be able to reach them all. Alright, well first, I'm gonna eliminate a couple for suspense oh, okay. and dramatic moments. And the first one I'm gonna eliminate, it sounds like a lovely book, but I've read poetry all year long in English class, and I'm sure you have too, so I don't want to have to read more of it over the summer. I need a little break, so I'm eliminating the poetry book, The Sun and Her Flowers. Fair enough. Yeet. Um, hmm. 
The next one I'm going to eliminate is also one that reminds me of a book, Exit West, that I read in English class, um, but even sadder and more heartbreaking. And summer is supposed to be a fun time where you are, do happy-go-lucky things, not depressed sad things. So I'm going to eliminate this one. It sounds wonderful, but maybe for another season instead of the beginning of summer when everything is flowers and happy and looking forward to good weather. And of these four, this is tricky. This is very, very tricky. Um, the first one I'm going to pick is one that's just like everybody should read because it's a great story. It is a little bit different, uh, but I think it's good for you to mix things up, especially over the summer. And it'll be great to read sitting in a warm house uh, with warm weather outside. We are reading about people freezing to death. So the first one I'm going to pick is Endurance. Okay. Whack. Thank you. And then the second one I'm going to pick is one that you sound very excited about. It sounds like a great summery book and right up your alley with romance and different timelines and drama and mystique and mystery. Mm -hmm. So the next one I'm going to pick is Meet Me at the Lake. Yay! Okay, so these are the two he picked. I'm very excited. I'm very excited about this one. This one is definitely out of my comfort zone, but I will try it out and hopefully I'll like it. So these are what he picked. Hi guys, so I have a quick update. So I started endurance a couple days ago and to put it in simple terms, it has taken me endurance to read it. Um, it's not my favorite. Um, and it's just making me kind of like, like when a book makes you like dread reading or like not want to read, like I hate that. And so at that point it's not worth it. And life is short and I don't want to spend my life reading books that I do not enjoy. So I've decided to put it down to DNF it. Maybe I'll pick it up some other time or it's like a good thing to read right before I go to sleep or something. Um, but I am going to DNF it and stop reading it. But I will read the other book that my brother recommended. I'm super excited about this one. So today I'm going to start Meet Me at the Lake. I'm very excited. I've seen a lot of booktubers and just like everyone talking about it. So that's the update. I'm going to start reading Meet Me at the Lake. I got a little reading snack. Uncrustables, so good. Six grams of protein. I get the um, strawberry jam one. It's my little reading snack of the night. Guys, I'm on page 263 and I'm literally about to start crying. All right guys, I just finished Meet Me at the Lake and it was really good. Um, I think I did prefer Every Summer After just because I liked the plot line more, but this one was really sweet. And usually I don't like epilogues, I just think they're unnecessary, but like I really like the epilogue in this one. Um, it was really good. So I'm going to rate this a 4 stars. I read it really fast, like it was, it was really good. Um, but I didn't like it as much as Every Summer After. Um, also, Every Summer After is a closed door romance and Meet Me at the Lake is definitely not, which like was I felt like the biggest difference. Just you know, if you don't like open door romances, this is not for you. Um, but it was really good. I liked it. So I would say that Taylor did well. Four star read, which I liked. Endurance was a bit of a bust. Um, uh, maybe someday I'll come back to it. We will see. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe down below. And comment down below if you've read Endurance or Me, me at the Lake and what your thoughts are. Bye!